Hello and welcome to a beautiful spring day in Sagata. My name is James Brandis and, and today I'm going to do something with you that um, I've never done before. Uh, very often I'll, I'll give a demonstration and I'll start something. Today uh, I'm going to finish something. And landscape painting, as, as you may know, um, is very dependent on, on the light, on a number of factors and so decisions made concerning landscape painting have to be made on the basis of what's happening in the moment. So if you uh, may remember uh, I've spoken before about thinking about what we paint and, and what we're actually painting. So in this scene that you see uh, there is a tree, there is water, I say that what I'm painting is spring is there's a softness to the light there's a mist it's not a it's not a hard light that goes from the bright bright scorching whites to the deep deep blacks it's a softer diffused light there's a softness and a sparkle to the air and to what I'm looking at and it's that spirit of spring that in my heart is what I want to and the reason it's so important to do this today is because today is Saturday, May 16th, and we've had a lot of rain, but days like this that, that capture the essence of spring are very few. So it's not like I can wait a week and expect to be able to show you this. So if that's what I want this painting to be about, which I started several days ago, today is my day to do it. So. The next, the next, there, there are several important factors when finishing a painting. Now for me, and to be truthful, as much as possible, as much as what I do is on site. So I do this painting, I took it back to the studio, I thought maybe I was done, but then it's like, hmm, hmm, something just, and, and, and I can try to take photos, but that might actually think me because there's something much different from a photograph to the magic of place. And what the painting is lacking, what it was missing in, in, in my estimate was a certain magic, a certain thing that made it be about this spot and make it be about spring. So a number of things when taking a painting back up. Um, you'll notice on my palette in the outer areas are colors that don't may perhaps have a definite name. Now these colors are the result of previous painting sessions on this painting. At the end of the session I scrape my palette, colors adjacent to each other get mixed together and become these outer piles. I clean the inside of the palette and then to continue with this painting I stick with the same original colors, which in this case is ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, um, burnt umber, cadmium red medium, yellow ochre, and cadmium yellow medium with white. I also uh, have a, a clean uh, palette uh, ready um, if I want to do further mixing, but I will continue with the spirit of the painting by continuing with the same colors. The next thing is to see, now that I'm here, now that I'm set up, and now that the light is fleeting, I have just a, a small window of opportunity to do why I brought all this out here. I have to be sure I understand. I'd like to be a little sure in my mind of what is bothering me, what I want to look at. Let me show you a couple. Now, um, there are a couple ways to... Um, determine what that is, to see that painting with a fresh eye. One is to bring it out and look, and, and perhaps my eye is fresh enough. Um, another way is to take the mirror and to look at the painting in the mirror. This is an automatic eye freshener. It's, it's seeing that painting perhaps backwards, um, and it really helps to say, oh, I didn't see that. I want to look at that. 
Um, another thing that can be helpful is uh, looking at the painting with a fresh eye is turning it upside down. And as I say, I have never done this uh, in a tutorial before, so, um, and it's not a secret, but turning it upside down, like, I notice, I notice a number of things, like, there's something not right, right in through here. The water doesn't quite sit flat enough for me, the values don't seem right, uh, this ratio doesn't quite seem right. Uh, and the thing, uh, two things that really bothered me from um, when I looked at it in the studio is this line seemed quite severe. And when I look here, there's a more gradual, the things fit together in a more natural way than seems to be happening right here. And the final thing that bothered me in the studio that I'm going to look at here is that I had um, a, a confusion of uh, branches, a confusion of lines right here, and so I want to uh, I want to look at this area as well. And one reason I'm very thankful to be here today, and and why time is of the essence, is that that tree is still in springtime bud. It, it hasn't uh, leafed out in the full leafage, and uh, very shortly it'll do that. So I still want that feeling of spring soft softness of, of the suggestion of leaves to come here. Now, after I look at the painting in this manner, sometimes I will even work it uh, upside down, uh, just for a little bit. And so, if, if, um, if you like, I hope you will um, uh, watch uh, while I um, uh, See if I can make this a more truthful and a more powerful uh, painting. And if you decide on this beautiful day to go out and paint your own, I wish you well because that's a wonderful idea as well.
thank you for watching today as I paint the spirit of spring. Uh, they say rain tonight and tomorrow. I think today was my chance and I appreciate that you tuned in to watch. Um, this coming weekend uh, is Memorial Day weekend and uh, I'll keep an eye out. We'll see if we'll do a tutorial and in two weeks time I, I hope to have the uh, studio open again and if uh, I can s safely invite you in, uh, I will. Uh, we'll have art kits for kids, which is the way this started. And uh, until then, be safe, be well, be inspired.